Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name's Greg. Great day, it's New Year's Eve. Kind of slowed down on the snow, but as you can see, it's been snowing today. Um, doing a major upgrade to our electrical system in our RV. I'm adding a inverter and everything like that, so I've got to run wires. And to do that, I'm gonna have to drop the belly pan here, which is that corrugated plastic. Now, the manufacturer was so kind to uh, nail it in place with these kind of like ram set nails. Um, they're pneumatically driven and they go right through your C channel or your uh, frame of your trailer, lock it into place. Um, as you saw, I got that one out. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I was successful, I've already got four of them taken off. I've been successful getting that one off like that. And then I broke two other ones. So we're going to go ahead and uh, remove another one. We're going to see how it works. And I've also got a couple uh, punches, hammer, to finish driving out the ones that break. But tools you'll need. I've got a cordless drill. Uh, you, know, you can use a cordless drill. I've actually got a quarter inch socket and socket adapter. 50-50 chance on that working. I'll show you how to get around that. Got a pair of pliers couple punches and hammer so let me uh, get over here we'll get set up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do so the first thing I need to do is clean this plastic piece off of the head and now let's try the quarter inch socket first go ahead and put that on the drill we're just gonna reverse it out see what happens and there it is, just like that, it came right off. Real nice and easy. Uh, a little stuck in the bit, but here's a trip tip to get that out. Go ahead and uh, get back in the hole a little bit and just wiggle it back and forth. Now you can go back up there again. get it out there you go so that one came out without breaking all right I've moved down I'm at it. one of my next nails that I got to take loose right there what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean it off again and this time I'm gonna act as if or say that quarter inch socket was just spinning on this and couldn't get it to uh, come loose so let me set uh, the camera up and I'll show you how I'm going to get that one off. So I'm going to take my drill with my keyless chuck. And I mean, if you have a little style with the chuck, that's fine too. But I'm going to go ahead and just open it up wide enough that I can put it all the way on and then just tighten it up to where the jaws of the chuck bite on that socket or on that nail, excuse me. Make sure it's tight enough. Now I know this is not the best use of your drill. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And we're going to go ahead and pull it out just like that. Really easy to do. All right, so it was that simple to get that off um, just by putting that in there and tightening it up around the jaws of the chuck. And then just as, it, as I was spinning it, I'm pulling it out. Like I said, I had a couple that did break on me. So let's go ahead and take that one right there and we'll drive that one out. Let me get the, let's get you in position. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see that. I just got my nail set, come in. And there we go, it's off. Now I'm able to come in and pull my belly pan down and see where I'm gonna be running wires. Once I'm done, I can take and put some uh, self-tapping screws back in there. And if I ever have to access it again, just take the screws out instead of having to fight the nails. Hope this tip is going to help you out 
if you ever have to get underneath there and work on yours without destroying that plastic corrugation. Uh, kind of wish they had done that from the factory when they, or excuse me, not from the factory, but from the dealer when they had to do some repairs. As you see, the tape is starting to fail, so another project I gotta do, uh, tape for that uh, is Gorilla Tape. I've got that. We'll wait till it warms up before I do that project. But anyways, this is New Year's Eve. So I want to say Happy New Year. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful beginning of the year. Thank goodness this year's over with. Can't wait to start our camping again. For some of you, you're probably still doing it. For us, as you see, it's a little too cold for us. So time for my project to get done. Anyways, I've got a link up top and below to uh, the project that we're doing. So, again, Happy New Year. See you on the next video.